Hello, everybody. It is with great pleasure that I express my strong support to your global meeting of this co-op partnership. And I would like to thank Rolf Hoyer from CERN for the invitation. I'm a big fan of both CERN and Open Science. So it is fantastic to see those two together with all of you to take SCOAP process to the next level. We all know that change in scientific publishing is both possible and inevitable. But what should each actor do today to help make it happen? SCOAP says, let's go all the way in one step. Let's get together and convent the publications of a whole scientific field to open access. That is a radical approach, and I applaud it. You are pioneers. Your success will be more than just a proof of concept. It will show us a possible way into the future of scientific publishing that others can follow. Scope is key. Scientific challenges are changing. The pressure for more sustainable approaches to industry and energy, the spiraling cost of health and education, and the new challenges of an aging population. These all demand new ways of working and collaborating across borders. It is little more than 20 years ago that CERN's Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web, itself a great example of open science. What started as a new idea to rapidly disseminate scientific information between researchers has by now radically changed the nature, the, the size and the scope of research collaborations. It helps us to solve new problems in ways we never imagined. Not only that, the web has changed the daily life of billions of people for the better. The first generations who have never known a world without it are already working among us, many of them as scientists. High-speed global networks are the norm. And that is why open access to scientific information is so important. Just as Tim Berners-Lee could not predict the impact of the World Wide Web, we can't know what open science will achieve. But we know it will bring good things. Access to scientific results for free, for all, forever, is a compelling vision indeed. To be sure, free access for readers does not mean writing or publishing is free. I'm perfectly aware that making high-quality research results available has a cost. But, as an economist, I focus on whether the benefits outweigh the cost. And in the case for open science, for open access to scientific publications and data, the benefits definitely outweigh the cost. And that is why I think all stakeholders should be proactive in adopting this new open environment. And I firmly believe that this is a type of change that we should all embrace together. We need everybody's passion and ideas to make this information available. Our children and grandchildren will thank us for this effort, and not only because it will reinforce the role of science as an engine of our social and economic progress. I'm thankful to all of you researchers and their organizations, funding agencies, libraries, publishers, for helping to deliver science for a better Europe and a better world.